everybody, this is Danny Danger, and I'm gonna to talk to you about my Eisner picks for this year. The Eisner Awards are a series of awards that are given to comic book creators to celebrate excellence. <laughs> They're named after prolific artist and author Will Eisner, who drew comics in the early 1930s and all the way up until past the early 2000s. He's best known for his work as a comic strip, the series. The, 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 in the comic book, the series. <laughs> I'm gonna write it. That name, trademark Danny Danger, that belongs to me. That's Comic Book the Series. Each year, comic book professionals vote to determine the winners, and they're announced at San Diego Comic Con, which means that this year's Eisner Award winners are going to be announced this weekend. The lineup for the Eisners this year is really strong, but a few things stuck out to me. First of all, why is Jordi Belair not nominated for Best Colorist for Mara? I mean, you open the book and, and Vivid just doesn't begin to describe it. The Surgeon General should put a warning on the front of this thing that if you have some sort of seizure-related disorder, you shouldn't flip the pages too quickly. I would love nothing more than to see Saga win Best New Series. It's bold, it's adventurous, it's a really fresh outlook on the sci-fi genre. And I think that the influence that this comic has in the years to come is going to be pretty substantial. I would sleep better at night if Brian K. Vaughn walked away with the best writer title for the book, but I mean, I won't riot over it. I hate to see Clint Barton go head to head with the folks from Saga, but it's happening in quite a few categories this year. I would really like it if Matt Fraction could walk away with best continuing series. I think he's got the longevity to continue telling this great story. I think that Hawkeye is really quickly becoming a cornerstone character in the Marvel Universe. And I would like to see this series continue on forever and ever and ever and ever. I mean, I, I literally would like to see the Doctor step out of the TARDIS and make a Hawkeye joke or reference in the far off distant future of Earth. Forever and ever. Also, everybody should note that David Aha totally deserves best cover artist because, I mean, you've seen the covers of Hawkeye, right? He deserves it. I would love to see Hope Larson walk away with best adaptation from another medium for her graphic novel interpretation of A Wrinkle in Time. And if Jeffrey Brown's Darth Vader and Son doesn't walk away with the best funny comic, there will be tears. I would cry. It would be pathetic. I would film it, guys. So those are my thoughts on the Eisners this year. What do you think? Are you rooting for anyone in particular? Tell me down below in the comments and be sure to hop on over to the Weird Girls site. We'll set up a forum about the Eisners this year. You can talk all about it. Be sure to share this video, like it, and subscribe if this is your first time checking out Weird Girls. Definitely come back and see us some more. A special thanks as always goes out to Austin Books and Comics for letting us film in their beautiful store who, by the way, have excellent condition copies of Saga Number 1 and Hawkeye. Uh, 